Since 1963, ATAS International has been a leading manufacturer of sustainable building envelope technology. In addition to their full line of metal roofing, wall cladding, and accessories, ATAS offers a full line of ES1 tested perimeter edge metal. In this video, you'll learn how to install EdgeLock 2 fascia. The wood blocking must be flush with the face of the wall below. The roof membrane should cover the wood extending one inch below the bottom of the blocking. Locate any scuppers. First, secure the two foot notched section of spring cleat tight to the top and face of the blocking with the provided one and a half inch ring shank nails. Then position the scupper in the notch and nail through the pre-punched holes in the roof flange. Secure the spring cleats tight to the top and face of the blocking with the provided one and a half inch ring shank nails. Install one nail through each slotted hole at 12 inches on center, front and top. Miter your cleats at the corners taking care to not leave any sharp edges. And be sure to leave a 1 8 inch gap between each cleat section for expansion of the materials. Refer to the membrane manufacturer's recommendations to strip in your spring cleats, scuppers, or end conditions. It's important to note that the strip-in membrane should extend down the face of the cleat to approximately one inch below the nails. Install the fascia miters first. Set a splice on the spring cleat at each side of the miter so as to be centered on the miter ends. Set the fascia miter over the top of the spring cleat and push down to snap the hem over the bottom of the cleat making sure both legs engage the spring cleats. Install the scupper surrounds by setting them over the spring cleat on each side of the scupper and pushing down to snap them on. Then slide the surrounds under the splice to butt tight in the middle. Slip a splice under each side of the surround. Next, install the fascia end caps and end terms. When ending the fascia at another wall, use the factory fabricated end term section. Set a splice on the spring cleat to be centered on the open end of the fascia. Set the fascia end cap or end term over the top of the spring cleat and push down to snap the hem over the bottom of the cleat. When ending the fascia at a standard wall end, use the factory fabricated end cap section. When planning the overall layout for your fascia, try to avoid cutting any section shorter than five feet. And remember to balance the joints with cut sections at the center or both ends of a run. Set the fascia over the top of the spring cleat and push down to snap the hem over the bottom of the cleat, leaving a quarter inch gap between sections for expansion of the materials. Be sure to visit ATAS.com to view our unmatched product selection.